Good morning, good afternoon, and good night, or whenever you're watching this episode of Patriot Plumber Report. Well, I just want to say, hey everybody, it's been a while since I've done a video. Uh, you all know that last month I had to go uh, back to Idaho to get my foot surgery done and all that stuff. And, and I'll just show you something real quick. I'm still in a boot, but the healing process is going amazing. So I just want to say thank you for all your prayers and your uh, your comments and all of your support. Uh, the people that really helped me out to get me back uh, to Idaho. I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. You're a true blessing. Well, today is a day where I'm going to show you the AC300 and two, count them, two B300 batteries. And I'm going to show you how long it's going to run my 30 foot Coleman special edition uh, travel trailer. Now you've all seen, you know, videos of the, the trailer, but at least let me show you what it kind of looks like. I got the bedroom. That's mine. Full size TV, DVR, blah, blah, blah. Um, I've got my refrigerator, which runs off of uh, electric. Uh, I got my gas heater. That's electric and all that stuff. I got all the lights going. And if you're hearing the cat, that's our new addition. Tito, come on. All right. So how long will the AC300 with two B300 batteries? Now that's going to give me 6,100 watts. Now, I do also have uh, some solar hooked up to it. The solar conditions aren't good right now. I'm getting a lot of shade, but I'm still getting about 120 watts in. And right now it shows it at about 387 watts going out. That has to do with the lights, the refrigerator, and also my heater uh, as well. So stay tuned, everybody. And I'm going to just uh, go through uh, all of the, the things that I would normally use. You know, microwave, watch a movie, you know, take a shower. That's key. That's the key. Because I, in other videos, if you look and you go through and all that stuff, I ran the water heater and it takes about 1500 watts. So now if you want to take a shower, you know, I got a 10 gallon uh, water heater. So it's not that big, but I can get in and out in about five minutes. Now, if I do my math correctly, I'll probably use about 10% of uh, the power uh, in my batteries uh, just because it's going to be pulling 1500 watts. But now, the key, I'm telling you the key, if you're going to be taking all of this power out, you're wanting to put power back in. And like right now, I have my PV350 and uh, 200 watt uh, solar energy panel hooked up. The there's a lot of shade still going on. the 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 sun isn't up enough to where I can get prime. Uh, so hopefully, I'll get like 500 watts, and that will average out what I consume for lights, my gas, and other things that are just you know pulling power. You know, like your microwaves. It's always going to be pulling power unless you could just turn it off at your breaker, but that'll be a hassle. So. Stay tuned. I'm going to go through some uh, other things that I'm going to be just doing. And I'm going to show you how long it'll last. And stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoy these videos because I love making them. And the number one thing is you want to be prepared. And if I can just take a moment and just kind of stop talking about the Blue Eddy and all that stuff. I want all of my subscribers to be prepared for what's coming. Do you have your water purification? Do you have your non-perishable foods? Do you have, you know, your pew pew and your ammo and all that stuff? Do you have all of that stuff ready to go? Do you have bug out bags? Do you have first aid kits? Um, it's so important. Even if you don't have a first aid kit, get one, throw one in your car. I was just talking to one of my friends yesterday and I said, you know, what would happen if you took a little road trip and you broke out in the middle of nowhere? Would you and your two kids be prepared and your wife to be stuck for a couple days? And he told me no. And I said, well, now's the time. So be prepared. Get right with God it is key it is key, everybody. Have him in your heart and your soul and your mind. 
have him with you every day because this is key because we are living in a spiritual war god versus satan and so just get ready and if you can hear my cat in the background he's he's telling you to get ready all right so i just want to say thank you i'm now up to 869 subscribers or 79 subscribers so thank you so much tell your friends if you haven't subscribed hit the little subscribe button throw me a comment but i just wanted to let you all know that i am back i'll be starting making more videos so get ready god bless and stay tuned because i've got more coming all right so i just wanted to show you i'm now getting 426 watts coming in i'm using about 121 watts um so my two panels are doing so so good right now. I could get a little bit more there. There's still a little bit of shade. You can kind of see how I got it set up out there. It's basic, but at least it's bringing in 422 watts. So I'm I'm putting 300 watts back into the batteries, which is a is a plus plus. All right, so I added some more solar to this test. And so right now I'm getting 552 watts. I am using 394 watts. And if you can kind of see out there, I've got the 350 with the 200 Renogy hooked up. And then right over there, I got my little PV120. So with that all said and done, I'm at 96%. And I started this at about 10 o'clock this morning, this test. So let's see how long we can go. Stay tuned. Hey, Tito, what are you doing there, buddy? Say hi. All right. I'm doing a follow-up. I've got 63% left. And I'm using 77 watts right now. I've been running my RV heat light microwave uh, the water heater and i have 63 percent left i'll be able to heat the whole house and keep everybody nice and warm it's supposed to get down to 21 degrees tonight so we'll see if uh, i have to get up in the middle of the night and plug into uh the grid all right i will check back in in the morning and just like that my heater kicked on and now it pulls 257 watts which that's not too bad just around 200 watts uh, to heat up my 30 foot travel trailer all right stay tuned good morning all right happy new year i hope everybody had a an amazing night last night um, it was fun for our family I didn't stay up until midnight <laughs> I think I was asleep by I think nine o'clock this old man doesn't doesn't do that anymore <laughs> anywho so this is the follow-up the very next day how long did the B uh, 300 and the AC 300 with the two batteries last so to answer all your questions, let me flip it around. Okay, so there's the big bad boy. You can see that I don't have my my uh, RV hooked up to it anymore. So at around 5.30 this morning, I woke up and I looked on my app. I saw that it was 3%. So I went and took it off of, uh, of the batteries and I hooked it back up to shore power. Um, but so roughly 20 something hours i ran this now when i say i ran it i put it to the test i ran my white microwave i i made I, I used my toaster um i also you know let me show you i watched a, a couple movies yesterday you know through the dvd player oh that's my cat food my Cat figured out where it was at in the cupboard last night and decided to get into it. So let me move it. So I had my my Blu-ray going. 
I had the lights going. I also had uh, my electric uh, water heater. Uh, now, I didn't take a shower, uh, but I did do some dishes and all that stuff. So, uh, it, it handled like a champ. Uh, I was really surprised. And so, like yesterday, too, uh, you know, like I was telling you, um, the first probably four hours of the, of the test... I was bringing in uh, some wattage. Uh, I think the most I was getting was about 620. Uh, and then the clouds came in and all that stuff. And then when I took it off of solar, I believe it was about 93%. So from 93%, and that was roughly around, oh, I would say 3 o'clock. There's our new addition, the, the, the Hellion. Anywho, um, so I was getting solar and... Uh, so that helped out on the usage um, because I found that my uh, refrigerator, um, when it's pulling, it's around 350 watts. And then when it's not, it just, it just goes down to zero. But I noticed that um, it only stays off for maybe 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes, and then it kicked back on. It is hooked up to propane. Um, but I don't know if I can do the switch over like I can on my water heater. But so that's something to think about. Um, or, uh, you know, doing some maybe some rewiring to where that I can, you know, use DC, which would be, you know, all of my, you know, lights and all that stuff like that. Um, but, you know, this is just the test. But will it keep you warm? Will it keep you occupied? Will it do everything that you're wanting it to do? Yes, for me. Um, now, you can add more batteries. Now, just to kind of let you guys know, I do have another head unit. And Blue Eddie sent me another head unit and a battery so that I could give you guys uh, a couple videos using the new Fusion Box. The new fusion box. So they sent me that with the communication cables. That's to my to my foot brace. But so stay tuned. So you'll be seeing some 240 uh, applications uh, in the near future. So be ready. Um, but so there you go. Will your AC 300 be 300 batteries? keep you warm during the winter and everything going yes it will uh i'm uh i'm really happy with uh blue eddie and uh what they've been doing um uh, because you know let's be honest it is crazy out there that's the world that we're living in right now is going to a shit in a hand basket so like i was telling you earlier Make sure you're prepared. Get your non-perishable foods. Get your solar generators. Get your gas generators. Get canned foods. Stockpile. Because it's time. We need to stockpile um, and get through this craziness. Because it's coming. Um, get right with God like I was telling you earlier too as well. Um, but these videos I just want to throw out there just to let you guys know if you have a travel trailer and the grid goes out or, you know, something crazy happens in the world, you'll know you'll be protected through the elements with the Blue Eddy. Now, the more batteries you get, the more you can, you know, uh, go without having to charge up. Um, but it's really key too. there's the Hellion. There he is. It's really key to, sorry, I got to grab something real quick. No edit. <laughs> no edit. Um, there was some water on my couch. Um, so the more batteries you have, uh, the longer you go. Um, like I said, I want almost 20 hours. 20 hours. And so you, you kind of do the math. 20 hours, 6,000 6, watts. But the key, the key to this whole situation, because if you're out boondocking, that was the cat, man, he scratched me. If you're out boondocking, or if you're just living off a grid, you want the solar coming in. 
So with the AC 300, you can have a total of 2,400 watts coming into each head unit. So like I was telling you, once I have the other one and the other batteries and you can do the split phase, you can have 2,400 watts coming into this leg and then you'll have 2,400 watts coming into this leg. So you'll have total control over everything once you have all the batteries you're going to need. But key, key to everything is you've got to learn your surroundings. Look at it. He's just, he's not being nice. Ah, there he is. The key is your surroundings. And, and what I mean by surroundings is know everything that you're going to operate. How many wattage does it take? What's the surge going to be? You know, what's the overall, like, you know, um, just, just learn your stuff before you buy any products, just calculate up. And, and I tell you guys this all the time and I'll show it again. But it's key. This is key. Now you can get different ones, but this is what I have. Your watt meter. Get yourself a watt meter. 15 bucks off of Amazon. You can get the expensive ones and all that stuff. But this is key. You plug it in and then you plug in your appliances and you say, okay, this is what it's going to be. So that you'll know that when you purchase it and then you try to go run something and it doesn't work because it's the surge is too high. Um, but the great thing about this is it does have a 6,000 watt surge. So if you've got something that's going to go up and then come back down, remember this has got 6,000 watt uh, surge protection. Uh, and it's just amazing um, all of the, the things that you can do with this. And I'll get into more, but you know, you have all your power right there. You have your 30 amp. Um, you got your aviation plugs. You got your cigarette lighter. Um, you got to remember, um, like right here, this is 24. So if you have a 12 volt, do not put that on there because you're gonna fry some stuff. But you can come down here on the battery because this is 12 volt. Um, you know, it's got its USB and then it's got its fast charging, got USB fast charging, and the same down in here. The cool thing is you've got your 100 watt C cable charging and then your 18 watt. And I believe the 18 watt, that's going to be a fast charging for your USB uh, compared to like the 5 watt ones. Uh, like this one right up here. I think it says 5 watts. 5 volts. Yeah. So, um, and then, you know, you've got the functions of running... Your heat pump, you can run a, a, a dryer if you wanted to. But, you know, in an emergency situation, emergency situation, I want you to be prepared for an emergency situation. I don't want you to get any of these products just so that you can have it. I want you to implement it into your everyday life. I see a lot of people that buy these and they look at it and then they throw it in the closet. And then when they pull it out... You know, something's wrong, whatever. Learn your product. You know, hook it up. Throw your solar on. You know, put it on the grid. You know, hook up, you know, your TV. You know, run some cables. You know, um, excuse me. Run some, um, uh, uh, I can't even think of it. It's too early. I need coffee. Um, your, um, your, your power cords. You know, just learn your product, what it's going to do and what it's not going to do. Now, that's the key too. you know, get on Blue Eddie's website. They've got so many videos saying what it can run, what it can't run. All the demo, uh, all the, their demos and stuff like that are very helpful or jump on YouTube, you know, check out my channel, Patriot Plumber Report, like, subscribe, tell your friends. Um, you know, um, there's Jeff from the Facebook forum. He is really knowledgeable. H hit him up on the, on the forum, uh, jump in over on the live stream so you can just learn your product, you know, and every product out there has their quirks and all that stuff. And I'm going to tell you this one right now. Don't tell me that blue Eddie's customer service is crappy right now because it's not, cause it's on fire. 
You know, they, you know, they stepped up their game and I, I'm really happy with that. Their app is amazing. So if you're going to get their products, get the app so that you can learn more about it. Um, but so in a nutshell, do I recommend this for RV living? I do. I recommend it. Now, if you are interested, check out the links below. Um, check it all out. Go to their website. I'll throw it down in the bottom a lot stuff. Um, and, uh, yeah, get ready. And literally get ready because it's coming, you know. Um, but it's key. If you're going to get a solar generator, get your uh, solar panels as well. You know, because you want to max out whatever you're going to buy. If it's an EB3A, you get your your 200 watt. If it's any higher, you just find out, you know, what's the, the max for the wattage for your solar. Get it. Because you want to be able to bring that free power in while using it. Like yesterday, I, you know, I was bringing in 600 watts. And then when the refrigerator was kicking on, you know, it'd be 350 and all that stuff. But that's free energy. It's just pass through. So that's key. Um, and uh, if you are RV lifing uh, and uh, you're looking at some uh, panels to go on top, I, I highly recommend, recommend the Bouge RV 200 watt. I think it's called the SIG. Man, I saw this uh, Hobotech. Shout out to you, Hobotech. Thanks, brother. Um, him shooting it with the gun, running it over with a freaking quad, dragging it around, and it still was producing wattage. Uh, when he shot it seven times out of 200 watts, I think he was still getting 178. That is a no-brainer because if you put it on top of your RV and you have a hailstorm, oh, boom, <laughs> you're not going to get holes. So, and then also, you know, if you want portability, I recommend the PV420, the PV380, um, the PV350, um, because they, I love them. And the most that I got out of the, my PV350 was 342 watts. And that was great sun condition. Um, but yeah, so like, subscribe, tell your friends. I really hope you enjoyed this uh, video uh, and I will see you on the next report. God bless.